Celebrations are underway in China. China is celebrating its 70th anniversary. All eyes are trained on Beijing with the Grand Military Parade rolling through Tiananmen Square, followed by President Xi Jinping's address to the nation. China is expected to showcase its state-of-the-art arsenal in what is being touted to be the biggest military parade China has conducted in recent times. Tiananmen Square, where the parade is being held, is on complete lockdown, of course. All roads leading into the square have been blocked and security has been tightened. President Xi Jinping will also be addressing the nation after the parade. It's expected to lay down the roadmap for the country as it celebrates its 70th anniversary. At the anniversary reception yesterday, she had emphasized on national unity and rejuvenation at this crucial juncture. Unlike previous years, where the celebrations are dominated by fireworks, speeches and flags, this year China is all set to showcase its military might. Our next report uh, tells you more on this. China is gearing up to celebrate its national day by holding the biggest military parades in its history. Marking 70 years of Communist Party rule in China, 15,000 troops, 160 aircraft and 580 pieces of military hardware will be featured in a huge parade throughout the capital. Being able to take part in the military parade is a supreme honor and it is also the original aspiration I have been pursuing. National Day celebrations will also see the debut of drones, military aircraft and new weapons including intercontinental ballistic missiles. China is hoping that the event goes without a hitch, especially when protests in Hong Kong and a trade war with U.S. potentially threatens to overshadow the Communist Party's rhetoric that the country is stronger than ever. With invitations sent to 188 military officials from 97 countries to watch the parade, certainly all Western allies will be closely watching China's defense capabilities. Your report, we on World is One. In the news now, External Affairs Minister Jay Shankar met U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in Washington today in what was a record fourth meeting in four months. The meeting comes as India and Washington are now in advanced stages of trade discussions. Indo-Pacific relations, counter-terrorism, trade in Afghanistan remain the top focus during this meet. Jay Shankar is now on a three-day visit to Washington where he is also scheduled to meet the newly appointed U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper. The meet comes just two days after Prime Minister Modi concluded his week-long high-profile U.S. visit. The visit is also, in fact, most claim has now helped bring India and the U.S. much closer. Both U.S. President Donald Trump and PM Modi endorsed each other during the Indian diaspora event. Howdy Modi in Houston, which saw the record participation of about uh, 50,000 people. Both sides are now working on a trade agreement with Trade Minister Piyush Goel, meeting his U.S. counterpart last week in New York. There are also talks about both sides working on U.S. President Donald Trump's first India visit later this year.